Today, I'm going to help you liberate yourself from the forehand loop myth, which has been destroying forehands at all levels since the beginning of time. Let's begin and let's build a better forehand. You can cut 90% of the time it takes to develop the forehand that you want, but in order to do that, you're gonna have to cut your backswing in half and stop doing what every low level tennis player does what I consider a reset before the start of the forwards motion. If we look at pro forehands, when we get to almost the full shoulder turn position, the hand and racket have not moved as an independent part. They stay along the waist, in line with the belly button, and the backswing is actually initiated and the movement of the racket is a secondary part, which is first initiated by the feet and shoulders getting set with the body and the body moving more than the racket. Now, from here, when the players get to about three fourths of the full shoulder turn, the full shoulder turn being the front shoulder basically being underneath their chin, they will make maybe a compact circle, very, very slight, where typically the racket will just fall to the height of the ball and then they'll pull forwards. Now, high-speed tennis is confusing. People are looking at what's happening with the racket and they're not watching the hitting hand and the arm and realizing that the hitting arm barely moves at all. Okay, without a racket, this is what it would look like. So what about that was really a letter C? Not much. Now with the racket in my hand, my arm tracing that same shape, maybe it looks like I made a letter C, but that's because pro players are throwing the body first and the racket is trailing behind very loose as the last moving part. So people see the racket wrapping behind the body, but it's a consequence of much more important factors okay now the racket head will never be more than this high above the player's head right so some of them like to get a high elbow right they all keep it on the outside of the body but at no point you know does this circular motion pass behind the the pocket or behind the body on the atp forehand okay uh, in Canada, we call it wrapping the racket, and a lot of juniors, even top juniors, have this. And it's really what separates players from getting to the next level, unfortunately. Um, the forehand is very important. Uh, something like 85% of uh, winners are going to come from the forehand side, typically. And 70% of the shots that you're going to hit from the baseline are going to be forehands. It's just how most players operate. Now, we never see a huge C from back here in, you know, successful forehands. Maybe the WTA, you can get away with it a little bit more. And I'm not saying that it's wrong, but there's definitely a better way. Typically in men's tennis, the racket stays on the outside of the body and there is little to no circular motion. It's, it's a deceiving but what's really happening is just a racket drop, okay? The closed racket face, it's slightly hooded. The wrist is relaxed at the top of the backswing so that when we fire, it can cock back naturally into the slot. And then we come through, usually directly to the ball, through and across. So not so much low to high, because I've proven in previous videos, never swing low to high on your forehand, that it actually results in a glancing blow. And the modern forehand comes through and across, okay? So use these things. I really hope you can overcome this tennis misinformation. Unfortunately, these things, which I call snake oil, are still being taught at other academies 
and I really hope you can liberate yourself from this and overcome it. And if you've been wronged by your teaching pro or misled, perhaps they just didn't know any better, which is usually the case. I have created an online course and I hope you can use it and learn from it and really improve your game. And you can get it by clicking the link down below. In any event, thanks for tuning in and use what you've learned to modernize your game. I'll see you guys in the next clinic. Ciao.